Miss You, Make You Happy, cover by No More Feel. Let's go. Miss You is kind of a K-pop, J-pop group, I think. So that's why I don't know them. <laughs> I like the super fast riding all of a sudden. It's like it. <laughs> very cool. I bet the original one is not even this hard uh, eating, you know what I mean? Like all the shredding from Saki, <laughs> the, the power chords, the drum roll that uh, uh, Tamu did there, like uh, basically like she's playing a, a <laughs> an extra fan song, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love the little accents they put here and there, you know what I mean? But still, um, Mayu keeping the cutesy uh, kind of singing voice over it, you know, and that I bet that that's the most faithful part of the of the song, you know, the the vocals. <laughs> And I really love uh, Saki's adaptation of it, for sure. I didn't get the last part there with the, the triangle. Was that a peak, a bass peak? <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can already tell, even if I don't know the original one, that I like this version way more. And usually, um, usually I gotta say that I really, really like um, when uh, bands, like, you know, metal bands and hard rock bands make metal versions of... Um, pop music in general. I really like it because for some reason it sounds cool to me. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I like like the way they transform, you know what I mean? The, the music in, in a way um, that basically is uh, better for my ears, you know? <laughs> a lot of bands this, did this, this thing, by the way, like getting super duper popular uh, pop music and making it metal or alt rock and stuff like that. It's a very, very common thing and popular thing to do, like since the 80s, I think, <laughs> stuff like that. And uh, I love it, I love it. And uh, of course, I love the adaptation, musical adaptation that Saki did with, uh, with the shredding, <laughs> but still keeping the melody, but playing it way faster and uh, shredding it. 
and on guitar and um, very cool, very cool. Liked it, but still uh, got that uh, that cutesy vibe to it. So they kept uh, or, uh, they, they kept the, ori the, the original song, the original melody and vocals, but made it way heavier. So that's cool. 